Big D. Ew. We are back at it. We're back. You probably pulled in seven cars already this morning, but we're on to the eighth. Yep. And uh, what do we got? We got the Bronco. We got the we got the ACI Bronco Raptor. And this Brad. Shh, don't scare him. Oh, you scared him. See? Oh God. And uh, what do we got going on? We're doing uh, a little bit of maintenance and the the fifth backbreaker since they didn't ship your. Your spare wheel the when we did these. Breaker. <laughs> Bro, you had some crazy technique putting these on. These are no joke. It's all about the technique. We'll show you. We'll show you. Factory 37. Actually, it'll be a little bit easier this time because... Yeah, it's just the... It's just, just on the, the back, yeah. yeah. So we're good. Hopefully we don't take out your back window and yeah. we're trying to put that thing up so, there. So while you put this on the lift, I'll yeah. show the viewers uh, Fudge doing the spark plug change that we did a few months ago. Yeah. And what's crazy about it is these from factory idle kind of rough i don't know if it's from the spark plugs but when we did the ngks in here it, made a big it changed it completely yeah so i highly recommend uh doing spark plugs on these on the 2.7 or 3.0 not sure about the four cylinder but this is the v6 but uh i definitely recommend that too yeah i mean anytime you get a used vehicle it's always a good deal to get a set of spark plugs you can kind of see where the health of everything is and right. how it's running and see if they can put fuel in there or whatever right but yeah, we'll get her in there as soon as Nick gets out of the way and get it on the lift, which is honestly half the battle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little wide. Well, the problem is you, you put the lift arms where you think it is, and then by the time it reaches the frame, you're, you're six inches out from where you thought you were, and you gotta redo everything. <laughs> there goes Nick, right? Oh yeah. Thanks, Big D. Oh, yeah. Give him a cold start. Dude, it really throws me off that these mirrors don't move with the door. Like, every time I open the door, I'm, like, expecting the mirror to go with it. Give him a cold start, Big D. You can take the doors off on this thing? Yeah. <laughs> open the valve, Big D. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Hit it a few times. Yeah. That's Baja if I ever heard it. <laughs> Why is there so many? Baja mode. <laughs> Jay Fudge. Tyler. Back at it. After hours at ACI. Good and listen, morning. Listen. Psych. It ain't morning. I know you, you've been dreading this one a little bit. Because you know it's not, it doesn't have that good old BMW badge on yeah, it. Yeah, but which, you know why I've been get. dreading it? You know I've been dreading why, it because why, why? it's your car. That's why I've been dreading but it. But listen, listen, I'm we don't kidding. have that. I wish we had the video. Maybe we can get the video from Nick to show the viewers. It's not like my other Bronco where we had the aftermarket. Uh, well, you, you, you remember you had two Broncos. So you started with a Bronco Sport. <laughs> Yo. And then you upgraded to a Bronco. The little one. <laughs> No one's talking to him. <laughs> then you upgraded to the, the bigger, smaller Bronco. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then we had a really bad situation we last did, time. We did, because we did. We, because we, we had an aftermarket bumper on it. The bumper and the skid play underneath. And then, of course, they're Allen bolts. And they're all, you stripped them all, putting them in. Not me, bro. So anyway, that was a situation. Um, maybe we could find the ring footage and throw I it know, in here. Because the oil went <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have upgraded again. We started this is at the a final pony. destination. We started at like a little pony. Now we're up to a. a this is a Clydesdale. A Clydesdale. <laughs> <laughs> In the Ford terms. This is a Clydesdale. So, so we, here we have the Ford Raptor. Yeah, the Bronco Raptor. The, the Bronco Raptor, sorry. Um, don't get confused with the F 150. Uh, this is its younger cousin. Yep. Um, but we're going to be doing some service on it because this car's not brand new. It's got about almost 30K on it. Almost, yep. Um, Maybe some things we're doing preemptively, that's fine. Better take care of it than not take care yeah, of it at all. We're, we're taking the safe route, um, yeah. so we're doing which oil is, change. Which is very understandable due yeah. to the fact that it is a Ford. Yes. So we're already starting, not, oh, we're not starting It's okay, too hot. it's fine, okay, um, it's all right. So if you guys don't know, this has the three liter twin turbo. Which opposed to the smaller Bronco, bigger, smaller, bigger yeah. Bronco, uh, has the 2.7 twin correct. turbo. Correct, correct. So this is the 3.0. Yep. Um, it's not the prettiest engine bay. No, no, it's, it's it pretty looks brutal. like it's shown here. It's pretty bad. Yeah. And then they, they try to be cool and put like Ford Performance in the back, yeah. but like it's just I don't it's, know. I, it's it's not it. It is what it is. It's not <laughs> it. Um, so 
we have it on the ramps because yeah. you don't really need much clearance. Yeah. You don't really need to get on the lift. <laughs> I mean, I, only, I honestly don't even think we needed the ramps because it's... You could put a small child under here yeah. and it'd probably be okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do an oil change, a transmission service, yep. uh, front and rear diffs. Yep. Uh, transfer case? Did you get I your... think so. I don't know. We yeah. got a lot of Basically stuff. Basically all the, all the fluids and then yep. we're putting a set of plugs in it also. Yep. And then hopefully Tyler one day will get this. Yeah. So rough. this, so this PPF came with it. Um, we're going to be taking that off and then I do want to full body it because then we're we can be just. stealthing it? No, no. I mean, stealth would look cool, but I do like this orange a lot. So. That's what you need on the M2, Tyler. I know. The, I know, dude. The, louvers, the louvers, bro. Huh? I think we're going to do the carbon stack on the louvers, ah. which will look pretty cool. To match all the carbon that the, never mind. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, wait, look, look, wait, wait, you're wrong, you're wrong. Ball! Ball! And it says Bronco. All that carbon, baby. See that, bud? This is a little flimsy, don't you think? All right, well, chill, chill. It's hey, that's really good because when you have to replace the evaporator core or the heater core, you can just take the dashboard and rip it out. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Fudge getting the spark plugs out right now. So we take the intake off. Wow. Uh, at least we can see this side. And there's your first plug. How do they look, Fudge? Let's check them out. Let's take a look. Well, they're OEM Ford. Okay. As you can see. Not too bad. Do you think they've been changed or do you think those are... Oh. Do you think those are OEM? They're changed now. Do you think they're OEM? Oh, they're OEM, bro. Yeah. They say Ford on Teaching my apprentice everything. He's gonna put BMW plugs. I got MGKs. Let's show them. We got the MGKs over here on deck. On deck. And we looked up the gap 0.28 to 0.31, so we're just gonna do 0.28. Bye bye. And uh, go from there. <laughs> Phase one complete. Complete. Plugs aren't too bad. No. Um, not bad at all. Some knickknacks you gotta take out of the way, but nothing, nothing horrible. Oil change is easy. Um, I know that new skid plate. That's nice. Uh, that's nice. Well, the OEM skid plate. The OEM skid plate. The only thing is, like putting oil in it is a little bit. I mean, that's a small oil cap. So yeah. Make sure you have a skinny funnel to kind of get in there. Um, and then you take this into intake tube out the way. Yep. Our right, so keys here, here, pull it out of the way. Then you can pretty much get everything. Awesome. So not too bad. Day one complete. Day one complete. Next up, we will have the front diff, the rear diff, and I think something, I don't know what else. We, we bought a lot of stuff, but. Well, see you next time. We like to keep our things maintained. See you next time. So for the viewers, it's gonna be see, it's gonna be see you at the same time, but for us, it'll be see you next time. See you next, see you, see ya. One eternity later. We got the, we got the wrap on the lift. Yeah. Uh, and you're draining the fluid out of here. Yeah, so tell pretty him, straightforward. Tell what you see. Um, pretty average, honestly. You're gonna you're gonna always have like fine metal. Do you think it's ever been changed? Uh, it's hard to say, really. Probably not. Most people don't really do stuff like this, right? But um, why is it good? Why is it good to do though? Well, it's always good to do. Um, with any fluid, uh. Especially differentials. I mean, first off, look at the size of the tires. 37s, bro. They're big tires. The bigger the tires, the more stress on the rear end. Just plain and simple. It doesn't matter if you're driving aggressively or what. When you're turning in the parking lot and those things are ripping on that, you want to have uh, some fresh fluid in there. <laughs> At least every, like, you know, 20, 30K ish. Right. Um, you don't have to go crazy. It's always. He's kind of the old saying, like, more important to have fluid than to have new fluid. Yeah. So you, but the only way to check is really to top it off. Um, but yeah, you get a good good judgment of, like, the health of the rear end. All this is just fine stuff. You're always going to have this. You're always going to have this on rear differentials, so front scared. differentials. It's no, like, don't. It's not like your motor where if you see metal, it's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, if this is your, oil, your engine oil plug, that's a big deal. But this, <laughs> is, you know, it's a rear differential. There's always going to be wear. Okay. Um... What you do want to be concerned about is if you see chunks. If you okay. see large chunks of metal, that's an issue. Um, so yeah, straightforward, just drain and fill on these. Um, it's gonna be this Ford. Uh, now you don't have to use Motorcraft. Right. It's honestly, these days, it's just the easiest to get OE fluid. Right. Because there's so many options for stuff. It's just nice to get the 
the OE stuff. These take 7590, I believe 7590 for the front and rear. And then the transfer case on this is gonna take LV. Yeah, Mercon LV. Which is just transmission fluid, pretty common. Most transfer cases will take um, automatic transmission fluid. I know GMs all do that. The Range Rover we had the other week yep. that we rebuilt, those all take uh, ATF. Um, me personally, I like to torque this stuff, obviously for like the pumpkin section of it. It's not as important to torque the plug, Okay. but on these aluminum covers, it's super easy because this is a tapered plug. As it goes in, the plug is pushing out. So when it's pushing out like that, if you over tighten it, it will crack this cover, especially the transfer cases. I've seen it a million times. So I always torque them. Okay. Um, good excuse to use your nice torque wrench. Um, but yeah, I've seen them crack a million times and it sucks and you gotta change the cover or in the transfer case side of it. If you crack where the plug goes, you have to change the case half, which sucks. Yeah, that's not fun. Um, some of them aren't too bad. Most of the new ones suck. Um, so just torque it or just go easy on it. If it leaks, give it a little bit more, but. Um, Sweet. Yeah, man. That's pretty what do you think it. about uh, what's going on back here? Crazy suspension. Yeah, so these come factory with like, what? What is it, like 36 inches of travel? Something like that? <laughs> it's a lot of travel. I think it's like 36 inches of travel. It's a full four link. Um, oh, what are these, like 25 way adjustable shocks? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's, look at them. They're great. It's pretty cool. It's yeah. cool to see it on the lift to see how far it actually travel yeah it's i mean you should have seen the, the mat after you after you lift it i straightened it out again but the whole thing kind of just because when the axle moves down like that it moves forward right it dragged the mat probably six <laughs> inches forward but um yeah no these things are pretty cool it's, it's cool to see underneath like even the front and everything like they got some heavy duty stuff right like and it's pretty cool how they have it like the the actual angle of the upper ball joint and everything is not crazy because like a lot of these like i know if you're like lifting like an earlier f-150 or whatever if you try to lift it to that height the ball joint angle is so aggressive that it'll just it just eats them but the way they designed everything on this is pretty cool so everything, big d everything kind of coexists let's try to get all the broncos we possibly can at ACI, what do you think? All the Bronco? Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Lifting these things is a pain in the ass. So, I'm good with just the one. I'll, st I'll stick to the, the Jap cars. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's look he, at that. Perfect. What's he using, Nick? Yours is black. What's yeah. he using, Nick? And it got rebuilt already. Snap on. I let if somebody it's not use snap it. on, we don't want it. I let so wow. You let somebody rebuild it and they went past the. They went past the core. And then he wants to know. We already heard the story twice all the time. Dude, he's never using my jump pack again. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Big D, the rear is filled. How much fluid you put in there? I don't know. Now I'm just pissed. Now I'm all pissed off. All right. <laughs> Look how much better that new drain plug looks. Whoa. Got to clean it off. How much do you think that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! You found it? Chill! You know what? How much do you think that? Give my f***ing <laughs> jump pack back! <laughs> Whoa! How much do you think that uh, rear diff cover costs? Um, Just because it says R. I mean, it's a Ford, so it shouldn't be that bad, but at the same time, it's got this R on it because it's a Raptor, so it's probably like 500 bucks. <laughs> probably like a grand. <laughs> All right, Big D. Crank up. Beamer stuff. 
Oh. They're the best, but you gotta rebuild the whole engine when you buy it. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Transfer case. I gotta, I gotta see what the torque is, though. And why is it uh, important to change your transfer case fluid? So transfer case fluid actually goes bad a lot faster than differentials. Um, obviously, it's literally just ATF, so it's pretty thin to begin with. Um, you can see this has a little bit of color to it. Yeah, like it's, it's supposed to be like a bright red. It's getting a little dark. You can smell it a little bit. Um, keep everything engaging smooth. You got to get the fresh stuff in there. That's it, man. Same thing. Fill, drain. They even label it for you. They make it easy on they this They make one. it easy. But this is what I'm talking about with the... <clears throat> Especially since you're right on the collar here. Yep. Like, if you over-tighten this, this will just crack and leak like a... Right. Um, we don't want that. No. Nah. Because... I don't feel like taking your transfer case out. And you probably don't want to buy a transfer case cover. So... That's where we're at. <laughs> And then onto the front. Front's done. Oh. Oh. Same deal though. Yeah. Same as the rear. Same as the rear. Drain it. Fill it. Slap it. Slap it. Bop it. Twist it. Annie sees the bolts because those were already rusted up. They just, decided that's, that's they were going to... That's Ford things. Yeah. So. Ford things. Beamers, you got to rebuild the engine. Fords, you get rusted Rusty bolts. bolts. They, they decided that they... <laughs> They decided they were going to Loctite these ones. Okay. Why? I don't know, but I'm going to be putting anti seize on them. Look at this one was already, look at that. It's already eating itself. Because they're just cage nuts, and then they decided to Loctite them. Crazy. Thanks, Big T. Well, Dylan, we're all finished up. What did you think of the Bronco Raptor? Final final summary? It's a cool truck, but it's really a bug collector, I noticed. I thought it was raining when I got in, but it's just all the dead bugs on the windshield. Look at all these. Look at that. <laughs> oh look at that, they got a little they got a little guy in the headlight there. He's doing a little dance. That's cool. Ah, it's a pretty cool truck. Some big tires. They look a lot better. Look at this. Now we got a matching. Fifth yeah, wheel I know. We we finally got the fifth wheel on there. You know, I was thinking we could have we could have put the the method cap over this, but it would have blocked your rear view. <laughs> so I was like, I'll oh, probably fit, but well. No, it looks good. Came out really nice. Yeah. No, so really uh, I definitely recommend spark plugs if you own any uh, V6 Bronco, because uh, they definitely help a lot without a doubt. I mean, I know you didn't get to feel it before because we already had the plugs in, but it, it made a big difference. Hey, get back inside and go work on a BMW or something. You know what you're talking about. You got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the next one, Dylan. That's the Bronco. You know what's crazy? Just for a second, I was like, is your car leaking? But that's where, that's where me and Fudge usually switch spots between here and there, and it's identical leak spots underneath my car. So, I, Fudge, is that, is that your leak or my leak? Well, my car's not there. Right from yesterday, though. It's gotta be mine. Look, at the, look how uniform mine are. <laughs> you know, I actually fixed mine. I don't know what this one is. Oh, yeah, this one's crazy. Here. With Nick's cigarette. <laughs> yeah. No, that's you, bro. You gotta get that checked out. Yeah, you, you better bring that to the dealer, Fudge. <laughs> Big D just worked what on it. You leak there. I never parked backwards. What? You back in every day. I watch you back in. I literally pulled in this morning. This morning. That's you, bro. <laughs> Probably. <laughs>